Hi, my name is Jacob Folger. I'm an artist and a sculptor, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, turn a amethyst crystal into an air plant holder. And so I've got an air plant and an amethyst crystal, and we're going to use polymer clay. Um, I use black a lot, mostly from uh, black clay, for a lot from my. Uh, because of the finishes I do but also for this project it's probably good to have a dark background and uh, what we're going to do basically is take a, uh, take a piece off of, and we want to knead it um, this is called they call this conditioning because there's um, chunks of plastic and, and things in the uh, polymer clay that have to kind of be mixed in and so you definitely want to make sure it's good kneaded and that it's, um, I call it warm to the touch or warm to your hand. Okay. We we'll set the plant aside here for a minute. And uh, then I'm going to choose what orientation I want. And I kind of like this orientation or, you know, I want the, I want this facing in this direction. I also, um, I would also like the, this point here to be uh, angled down a little bit as well. So I'm gonna. So I'm. This is kind of how I want it to stand, and I want. Uh, I want the uh, the polymer clay uh, holder part to um, to support the the point of the crystal uh, to stand up. Um, but I don't want it, I don't want to have to, to be able to see the polymer clay. I want it to kind of be hidden back here. So the clay, I don't want a lot, I'm, I'm not going to want a lot of clay here. I'm going to roll it into a ball after I've got it kneaded, or what they call conditioning or conditioned. And then I'm going to roll it a little bit like this, um, kind of into an oblong shape. And I'm going to position the the, uh, the crystal here, leaning a little bit outwards, and then I'm just going to press the clay into it like that. And one thing you have to keep in mind is that the the clay is actually very light even when, actually when it's cooked the um or baked it's it's really fairly light so if it's if the crystal is leaning too much it'll kind of um uh, make it fall forward uh, it won't stand up very well so you're gonna have to keep that in mind so when you're doing that um and when you're sculpting the the polymer clay to the shape you want um you're going to have to pull it up off the table to make sure that it's not going to rock forward very easily. And actually it is rocking forward fairly easily. So that means the crystal is going to have to go backwards this way so it's not uh, pulling it to fall over. And then we'll turn it this way and now you can see the polymer clay here is you know sticking out <clears throat> and you don't want it to do that so you're going to push it back and again you want to keep picking it up so it's not sticking to the surface so that you know that the the uh, crystal is going to stand up and not pull the the, uh, the the holder forward um, the other thing you can do is you can um, you can take a, a sculpting tool you can take a you can take a, a sharp knife you can even take probably a, a steak knife or something like that and just cut the clay back here so you can't see it like that. So basically the view is going to be here so that all that you see for the most part is the, is the, uh, is the crystal. 
want to cut that back a little bit more. Now let's work on the uh, on the holder itself a little bit. Uh, maybe forming it uh, to to just be symmetrical and 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 uh, smooth and and you know fairly attractive. Um, hopefully we're not going to have to see too much of it, but if we do, we want it to look, uh, we want it to look nice. Now for the, uh, it's, it's really a good idea to have a plant when you're making your holder because you kind of have to size the holder to the plant, um, and, you know, just make sure that it's, that the everything's aesthetically pleasing and that sort of thing so what we're going to do here is i've got my plant there so i uh, you know i, I can uh, refer to that if i have to i'm going to take this tool um it could be this is a, a clay sculpting tool um it has kind of this end here um, that is good for making a hole but you could also use um, like the back of a knife um, you could use, uh, you could take a paintbrush and probably create a hole uh, pretty easily also. I'm going to go ahead and use this tool and I'm just going to make a hole in uh, the, the holder or, or the polymer clay. And once I get it to what I think might be the proper size for um, the plant, then I'll, I'll try the plant and see if it fits. And we're almost there, actually. It's, it's actually fairly close. Now I'm going to turn it this way and see how it looks. It actually looks pretty good. Okay. So then we just uh, want to smooth things out a little bit make it uh, you know make it look nice and uh, the other thing you can do is we want we don't want the uh, polymer clay uh, holder portion of the of this uh, to um, come away from the the crystal so um, one thing that you can do is you can take um, a knife like this and uh, sculpt in the holder to the stone to the crystal um, and just sort of that way you're you're in a way you're bonding the holder better to uh, to the stone like that and then you can smooth out everything and just make it more appealing um, when you go to cook uh, bake this you're gonna bake it in your household oven and uh, it's uh, 275 degrees preheated you want the oven hot and when you put it in you're gonna want to put it in on something small uh, smooth like a ceramic plate that doesn't have any kind of um, surface texture on it and uh, you put it in for uh, something like this it, it's the they, call, they say uh, um, for the Sculpey 3 brand which is the brand I would that I use and, and recommend. This is Sculpey 3 polymer clay. Um, you want to you want to bake it for uh, a, a 15 minutes per quarter inch of mass. So if if the clay is uh, a, an inch thick, then it would cook for an hour. If it's uh, a half an inch thick, it would cook for a half an hour. So that's basically how you do it. Follow the packaging guidelines when they give you the instructions. You wanna you wanna follow that, and uh, and then just cook it uh, cook it for that time. Uh, you don't want to overcook it, and you don't want to undercook it either. Um, let's talk about. I'm gonna go ahead and put the plant in here just so we can look at that. Um, let's just talk about plant care of the air plant care for uh, a few minutes um, If the plant is dry and not happy um, And if it needs water, it's going to be a pale uh, grayish green color and it's going to be kind of limp and If it's been watered if it if it is happy um, 
it's going to be a darker green color and more springy like this one is. The best way to water an air plant is to um, take it out of the holder and put it in a bowl of water and just let it soak in there for you know an hour or so um, and do that every other day. Um, unless you have a greenhouse that you're putting this in, greenhouses you may, it may not require as much water but um, they like they do like water and they like baths and uh, in a bowl of water they're very happy with that for sure and that's how I water all my plants it's very easy take them out put them in a bowl of water in the sink or whatever and uh, there you go I appreciate you watching if you have any questions you can put them in the comments section or go to the about page on my channel and you can find my email address and send me a message and uh, if you like this kind of content, um, I do all kinds of video about creating different things. I use a, a lot of polymer clay. I do a lot of fairy related stuff. Um, if you like that kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks again for watching and have a great day.